As you can tell from this picture, uh, it is me as a little kid, and I am standing right in front of SDNX2105. You might already know what this video is going to be on today. It's going to be on my favorite coaster locomotive, 2105. Even though I love 2105 so much, there are lots of people out there who think 2105 is the worst coaster F40 in the fleet. It's mostly because of the bad horn it once had a few years back, and how its horn constantly got fouled all the time. Yeah, I think it's mostly just the horn that people don't like it, or maybe it's just the last loco, and or its horn wasn't as good as the other F40s. And this video I'm about to show you explains it all why people don't like 2105. Oh, it's that it's crappy horn. 2105. There's 2105. There it is. Woo. It has a crappy horn on it. Not like it. But other times, it sounded really good. In fact, I have a clip where it sounds so nostalgic. Now, I can totally understand why people don't like it, because the year before it was going to retire, in late 2020, its horn sounded pretty bad from watching that video by Blows774. But other times, I loved its horn. For some reason, whenever I hear its old horn from, like, not, not its M5 or M3 horn, I mean, like, its regular, normal K5LA. It just gives me the feels. It like that horn gives me goosebumps. It sounds so eerie and cool. I just love the 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 effect of the horn. The pitch sounds sounds so good. I just love the horn so much. Now, for all those people who hate 2105, you don't you don't need to watch this video. I'm explaining why 2105 is the most underrated coaster locomotive. Coaster 2105 was the last F40 to be built before entering service in February of 1995. It has several brothers and sisters, that being its other four other siblings, 2101, 2102, 2103, and 2104. 2105 was... Just like it, his other brothers and sisters. Until sometime in the late 2000s. It was given a very awesome M3 horn. I'll roll the audio. But after that it was given back its K5 LA. And sometime before or after that, uh, 2104 had an M3 horn, and it sounded even more cooler. So people moved away from liking 2105. It has since used its K5LA before it wearing out in 2020, a, only a couple months before it was about to be sent for scrap. Lots of people say that all five coaster F40s were supposed to go to the Campo California Railway Museum, or also known as the Pacific Southwest Railway Museum, but only one made it there, which was 2103. She has served her time in service, and, and she has since has her engine removed. 2104 was never taken off the freight train and, has, and is sitting in a yard all the way in Pennsylvania. No one 
no, it turns out maybe some incident happened with the museum there, and the museum only had to purchase one locomotive. They purchased 2103, and 2101 and 2102 were sent for scrap. Now we've, we're left with 2105, the last F40 on the freight train. No one know what wanted to do with it, but before it could be it could join twenty one oh one and twenty one oh two, a guy named Michael Mike Armstrong decided that his favorite locomotive should go to the best California Railway Museum, the Southern California Railway Museum in Paris, California. Everyone thought that was a great idea, but they soon realized their condition or problem. The track there wasn't fixed for the BNSF to drop off the loco. They could have done the same thing with 2103, but I guess they didn't want to repeat that second time because they were afraid the loco might tip over. So it's it has been since sitting in the commerce yard for the past one and a half year. And until it will be sitting in that yard before until the tracks at SoCal are finished and 2105 will head there. Reading that article made me feel sad ever since. And since then, Coaster 2105 won't be getting to the Southern California Railway Museum anytime soon. It is put in storage in the Commerce Yard in Los Angeles. No one knows what will happen next for Coaster. All we know is that the track in Southern California ain't finished yet. I felt so bad for 2105 that he eventually ended up being my favorite coaster locomotive again. But that doesn't mean he's my most favorite. My most favorite coaster at 40 is 2102 because her horn is plain sexy. All right, you're going to shoot me. Anyways, the reason why 2105 is my favorite is because I don't know how it happened. I don't know if God was trying to make me happy or what, but here are some reasons why I love 2105. One, he is my he is the favorite loco of the first YouTube channel I ever watched. No, the first real fan YouTube channel I ever watched. Mike Armstrong, Coaster Fan 2105. He has been my favorite YouTuber ever since I first watched his very first video. Coaster Train San Diego. My mom showed me that video when I was like four years old, I got freaked out by it because I was scared of the coaster at that time, but I began loving it in 2016. Now I'll tell you why the second reason why I love 2105. Second reason why I love 2105 is because somehow, somehow, I don't know if God gave this to me, but I saw and took a picture of 2105 in 2016 and saw him again in 2019. How was that possible? I don't know how I saw the same coaster F40 three years apart and took a, uh, took a photo with them. I loved it. I felt happy about myself. I never thought that God would give me my legend, my Lord and Savior's favorite loco and have me take a picture with it. I have that photo hanging on my wall. Or the photo as shown in the beginning of the video. Since I got since I loved it so much, shortly after I made Crash Energy Cab Cars in 2020, yes, that's when I made my series, I made Finnegan and Friends in 2021. Or in early 2021, I used all my toys to play with them. The first character I made up was Finn. His original name was Finn and his cab car, Finn Jr., Finn started off as a little blue tank engine with two tenders like Thomas. Finn Jr. didn't exist. Then I turned him into an F-40. He originally was supposed to have a K-3LA horn, but since time has gone by so much, he is now the SDNX 2105. I have given him a new design, and since today's Tuesday, he'll be appearing in the video when me and Dad go to Dallas on Wednesday this week. That is the second reason why I love 2105. Third reason is its horn. It sounds so eerie and awesome. It's 
eerie and unsettling and high toned, but I love it. Its horn sounds so f awesome. I just love it so much. It sounds so nostalgic to me. Sure, the other F40s are great, but 2105 is special to me. Don't worry, 2102, you're still my favorite girl. But anyways, that's why 2105 is my favorite.